I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are five things to know about Libra. Facebook made a bit of a splash recently when it announced it intends to found a cryptocurrency to make online payments easier. Now, this has caused a lot of people to have very strong reactions. Stepping back from the emotions for a second, let's look at five things to know about Libra. Number one, it's a stable coin. That means that unlike, say, Bitcoin, each Libra will be worth a slice of a collection of bank deposits and government securities in currencies from stable and reputable central banks, dollar, pound, euro, Swiss, franc, and yen. This will keep the value from fluctuating wildly. It also means it's not exactly a currency, not exactly an exchange-traded fund, which means governments are not exactly sure how to regulate it yet. Coming in at number two, it won't be owned by Facebook. Facebook is developing the technology, which it intends to hand over to the not-for-profit Libra Association. Right now, that's made up of 28 partners, one of whom is Facebook, but Facebook will not have a larger voice than the other partners. Current partners include Coinbase, MasterCard, Visa, eBay, PayPal, Stripe, Spotify, Uber, Lyft, Vodafone, Women's World Banking, and Kiva. The Libra Association hopes to have around 100 partners eventually. Up to number three, you won't need a Facebook account to use Libra. If, say, Visa makes a Libra wallet, you won't even need to use a Facebook product. And even if you use the Facebook-owned Calibra wallet for your Libra, you won't need to have a Facebook account for that either. Sliding in at number four, it's private, but it's not anonymous. Anyone who signs up to use Libra must show government ID and share some other personal information, similar to opening a bank account. Facebook-owned Calibra says that unless you tell it different, it will not share that data with third parties, except for legal compliance or product performance. You know, paying the person you're trying to pay involves sharing some info. At number five, it's meant to make paying for things online easier. Money transfers are slow and can take two to three days. Libra will be much faster. Remittance chargers to send cash across borders average 7%. Libra will be much less, possibly free. Sellers could pay reduced transaction fees with Libra, and micropayments become feasible without all those fees attached. Facebook's idea is to set up an easy way to move money around online that is not a fiat currency or a bank, but will lead to more commerce and therefore more advertising on Facebook. Almost everybody who is not involved in Libra has expressed skepticism or outright distrust. We'll see if it ever gets off the ground, and if it does, who might use it? But at least now you know a little more about it. Hey, there's more where that came from too. Check out our other videos and articles at techrepublic.com. I'll see you there.